All right, back again. All right, so we've parked up and soft up on the side of the track near the beach entrance. I'm gonna just try and take off nice and slow here. First gear, low range. Just do, let's do some crawling. Let's see what happens. All right, my plan is to head back to the beach. I'll take you down onto the track onto the beach. We'll head up first lagoon. We'll get the soft stuff around the first lagoon, turn around and come on back. All right, I'm just waiting for a couple of cars to clear the path, so not any issues. And here we are, we're crawling. Got straight across tracks. That's probably the worst you can think of it. But the sand's not real soft, so we're all good. All right, second gear low range. Third gear low range. The speed on the beach is 30 when you come down here, so you know, I'm not concerned about low range, kind of high range at all. A little bit choppy. Pretty solid track though. And the sand does, is just a bit wet, so. Not too bad. Look, to show you though, we're going to take a bit of a detour here. Not picking any particular track, we're just cutting across the soft stuff just to show you how easy it is. We're still cruising along the third, probably, I don't know, 10, 15, 20% throttle. Not a lot of power. And this is the first cutting right next to the ring. So, still in second gear. No, sorry, excuse me, third gear. Real slow and just trust the torque of your car. Across the tracks can be a bit choppy. Alrighty, and what a lovely day. There we are. That's the cutting, and now we're looking back at the access track. I'm in the fourth gear just to cruise along for a little bit. From here it looks pretty nasty, the shadows make it look quite nasty. As you get close, you'll start seeing some really defined cut tracks cut out. Again, just pick your track. Hey, make a new one if you really want, but the tracks will be a lot easier. This one looks pretty good. Lines up where we're going. Punch up in the third. And a piece of cake. So nice and compact. Easy, easy day. Get out of the place like Fraser, and uh, you'll see some interesting uh, access tracks that are a bit more challenging. But Fraser has benefits too, they've done a lot of work putting logs in and shoring up the track so that anyone can really get up there. It's going to be a four drive though, I wouldn't try to two wheel an all wheel drive car. And no doubt we all know someone who's done it. So just heading back up the access track now, it's all pretty cruisy. Honestly I'm kind of hoping to see someone stuck just to... Just so I can make the page if I got bogged at Bribe Island. I think my chance is particularly high. It's the afternoon, it's cool. The sand looks all damp. I think we're absolutely laughing. I don't know where you are, but we'll see how others have gone. Just keep an eye for what you do is that will throw you around a bit. If you get kids in the back seat, they can get a bit upset with you when you bang their heads into the roof. Uh, not talking first experience, just know someone who knows someone. You know how I mean? Okay. Cruising along again, just watching out for the shadows, shadows and hide things, just keeping your eyes a couple of, a couple of car lengths ahead. You know, the rest is sort of time, just glance up every now and then, make sure that you've kind of got a big plan going forward. Keeping your eyes peeled for the big whoopie doos because there's a few of them along here and they will throw you around. It's a bit soft, that's where I've seen a lot of people get stuck today, but anyway, just keep your momentum in there and work your way through. No dramas. Keep your eyes here for kangaroos too. You won't see many, but not their hazard, but nice to see one when you come out this way, and there are a few around. But typically, when we used to be able to go to the inland track, you'd see a few families of kangaroos as it came down. And that was always a nice sight. Actually, saw one today. I was stopped at the second lagoon. I'm going to go for a little walk just to uh, relieve myself. And I uh, heard a bit of noise, and a kangaroo popped up right next to me. He just swam across. Creek. I can tell because he was absolutely dripping, soaking wet, and he's a young male, and he's just looking at me. Didn't really care much. I was there, him, said hello, how you doing, mate? And he uh, hopped on his merry way. A little bit too quick to get the phone out and get a photo, but it's nice on the count anyway. This part's kind of a little bit long and boring, nothing too exciting here. Haven't seen too many get stuck, it's quite a wide track. You do come at this track if it does go to a bit of a car park where people are stuck or just parked 
waiting to get that turn to get past, honestly. This track is wide enough for three or four cars. The only part will be a problem is when you come up to the actual park point where someone's bogged and probably taken up half the track. But you know what, generous, generally, take it slow. Don't be a dick about it. You can get past pretty easy. Honestly, everyone should do it. I don't understand why people stop and do this whole waiting the turn business. Unless you're part of the recovery, move on. Just get past. They're stuck, they're getting recovered, they'll take their time and they'll, they should be waiting for you to get past. Oh. Yeah, so there's a yeah, bit of a home behind us. Right, not two wheel drive, good on him. Yeah, generally that might too much, but if they're up my house, it's a bit of a night. I had my thumb as a teenager, so I can't really complain too much. And we're almost there. A couple more turns, we're back to the car park. And no great surprise, but there's no one bogged. Bit of a shame. Honestly, a little disappointing. Really, this track should only be, I don't know, a couple minutes long, I guess. I guess I'll look at the video when we get to the end of this. So, yeah. Two minutes, cruise on through. Speed looks 30, but get on if you've gone that fast. Let's hope for a second and make the homes get bogged. And here we are. Car park. Plenty of, uh, plenty of bits to stop over. Air up and get on your merry way. So at this point, I'm going to say see you later. Turn this camera off and I'm going to pop out and get my car all road, red, road ready. Alright, see you later crew.